All right, a quick video on <clears throat> setting the bridge, um, but we're not going to use a uh, traditional uh, setup device with it, which is normally you measure it off. You know, most a lot of guys use something that measures off of the neck. You know, we get the neck connected, and then maybe we'll get something like this. And this has all kinds of markings on it that shows me you know, the different frets. 12 fret, 15 fret, whatever. It actually shows the tape of the fretboard too. So, you know, we'll line this up, grab the bridge, set the bridge over here. And that's how we set the bridge. Uh, don't do that anymore. Don't mess around with any of that stuff. Put that on the side. Just get a piece of plywood. <clears throat> square it up. Easy to get a square on the top, square on the bottom, because the bridge is going to be square. The bridge is always going to be center. Draw a center line, cut out a couple of notches, make sure that line is center. <clears throat> what we're going to do is center this notch on the center line, the clamp on, it doesn't have to be too tight, just hold it in place. Not actually going to drill any holes or actually set it because I've already done it. So this is just for show. So you can figure out what's going on over here. We've got a center line notch right on the center line here. I actually got two lines that mark the outside of my bridges. It actually goes right there. You can mark a center line on the bridge as well too. And how do we get a center line with the infamous center finding ruler. I got all kinds of stuff marked on there for different measurements that I need center lines for. Anyway, what I do at my bridge is I drill out a couple of holes at an angle like this because most of my instruments actually have um, 5 hole pickups that go inside. I mean, if you do the LR bags elements, they're going to have this angled hole and round it out on the inside of the saddle slot. So I just do that already. We've already done this. I drill out the hole in the bridge first. Then I'll place it here, drill out the hole inside the body. When we set the bridge later on, we can actually take this. This actually works very, very well <clears throat> when you're vacuum clamping, which I've done as well too. So, you know, once all of this comes off, very, very easy to get the bridge square on your instrument. <clears throat> 